here I am back at the abandoned sea fort and this time it's for a stealth camp so this is going to be my first stealth camp in an old building like this and what an amazing place I mean I did explore on a previous video a few weeks ago and uh, a lot of people said why don't I do a stealth camp here and to be honest I didn't have the guts to do a stealth camp here but I've got two friends here with me who I'll introduce to you in a moment uh, so it's gonna be fun tide is coming in we'll soon be cut off from the uh, tide you see the water coming in there so we're almost getting to the point of no return there'll come a point where we can't return to the coast as you can see the coast is over there and I've got two fellow Ghostbusters <laughs> We've got Tim Hello. from Vaughan Outside. Hello Richard, how are you? Alright, yeah, and Lee from Burton Outdoors. Burton Outdoors, currently outdoors. Yeah, and it's, it's the first time we've been camping in a building, isn't it? Yeah, I've never camped in a building. We're usually camping uh, in the woods. Yeah, it's good, I like it, but I, 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 I miss my trees. It's definitely, <laughs> out, it's definitely out of our comfort zone, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But this is where we're going to be anyway. Um, somewhere around here, can I get a fire going later? And uh, we're going to be able to see the stars, hopefully. Yeah. It's going to be a great night. night look at that lovely decoration nice graffiti even my own fireplace in the corner nice view coming outside to the emergency fire exit and then that's the uh, view back to the shore which you can see there is no way back now we are cut off over here you can see uh, the sun lounge and dining area. So we are cruising. The cruise has begun. I'll show you um, the other setups here. I've never done a stealth camp in such comfortable surroundings. And then this is Lee's setup here with his uh, Dutch Army bivvy, I think. Tim's got the uh, help kit. That's it, we're all in bivvies. Uh, they said you could do the early morning and go back home. We are officially cut off. Looks very different now. The sea all around, it's like a boat. Where's the causeway now? Richard, raise the anchor. Down at, just coming yeah, down I'm standing in that middle for too long, mate. Yeah. I can see it wobbling! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Watch out! This is the bit I don't like. Oh. Look at the aerial shot of Burton Outdoors, currently outdoors, watching the sunset. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's not quite as windy now, so I'm making it to the top again. Here's the aerial shot again. <laughs> Do you want to Shades on. Boy. And this is the one, yeah the floor's gone in this one isn't it? Yeah. Yeah so this is the top, this is the top uh, viewing area for the Second World War. 
Amazing, right? The whole of the Thames estuary over there towards South End and all the way across the North Sea and the Medway, because the River Medway here was uh, strategic with Docklands, everything, shipbuilding, Chatham Dockyard. You can't get any higher than this. The railing's a bit dodgy, so again, if you do come up here, uh, you need to be a true professional like Tim. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not, then uh, yeah, don't come up or get in touch with Tim and get some tips. Yeah. When we come up, mm. so let's shut that now. There, but we did that earlier, and we can't explain how or why, but it opened mysteriously, didn't it, yeah. Tim? And we're not sure now if there is such a thing as the sea fort ghost that we heard so much about. Richard. Tim? Thank you. I was just looking for two other, other crazies who would join. <laughs> you found him. Because <laughs> if you think I'm staying up here on my own, got another thing coming. There's no no way. What with all the stories of hauntings and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Just had no idea. No. So this is to calm tonight. Hopefully not before the storm. Because uh, you can see that the sea is like a mill pond, and it's just so still, so quiet. Look at that, the whole of the river medway there. The light's starting to come out. Beautiful sun sunset. This is real stealth camping, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No one knows we're in now. Yeah, we're not just talkers. We do actually go out occasionally as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only when we're together. <laughs> So this is the uh, the hobo zone <laughs> on the uh, abandoned fort. But we've got everything. We've got water, drinks, burgers, pies. Yeah. What are you having, Tim? Um, steak intensive beef chili. Oh nice. Yeah, MRE meal. Cool. Let's we'll try one of those one day. And I'm going to start with a cup of tea. Tea. Yeah. Slice of cake. Yeah. <laughs> and so far, it's not that spooky, is it? No, no it's been all right. But we have heard reports of strange noises in the night, <laughs> and it is still early. Baking a pie on the trend here. What have you got, Richard? I've got a pucker pie. A pucker? Yeah, a baked on the trend here. To my left? Yeah. Beans. Beans? Yeah. That's alright. Better in your own room. Yeah. Yep. That's the Tiger team! Oh, yeah! yeah. It's take a little while to get going sometimes. Burning like fire. I'll get a copyright claim there. Oh! 
quite a nice view though, isn't it? Is this? <laughs> yeah. I quite like it. It makes you feel really at home, but... Yeah. <laughs> kind of melt by when it's... <laughs> Delaminate. Do you ever wonder, you know, you sort of look at your surroundings, you wonder, how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you just woke up now um, in your life, right, and, uh, and saw yourself doing this, and you didn't know the rest of your life, <laughs> you, you would think it didn't turn out that well, would you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's really going down. You've got to catch fire with it. It's very close to your leaves. If you've got a fire extinguisher, you should catch fire with it. <laughs> oh, leave! Move! Yeah, 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 seriously. <laughs> you are going to get <laughs> this is great, isn't it? That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I can feel that back here, actually. Yeah, yeah, no? it's, it's, coming, it's reflecting off this yeah, off here. ghoulish figure. <laughs> it's the lady of the night. No, so it's sealed, it's sealed up, so isn't it? So I'm taking, just drying my socks out again. I think that's why, I think that's why they get cold. Oh, uh, me and Richard Day Tripper have uh, settled down with our slippers, socks and pipe. <laughs> onto the fire for the evening. Timmy, you could have taken your, your boots off and no, had a little... No, my feet are lovely and toasty at the moment. Sock off with us. It's because of the bark. It's rock runny barker. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody freezing in Richard's bedroom. The girl fell one day. Did you mind how you To explore. Spooky <laughs> fort at night. Ooh, urbex, urbex. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Where the steps were. Who is this? Who's going to be for 
for me. It's the monk. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, yeah. We survived. That's good fun, that was. Next time we have to do it with candles. Four candles. Four candles. Here's my room. Da, da, da. See where I'm camping tonight. Back where we belong. Morning. What a beautiful morning it is. Very bright. You saw the sunrise. We survived the night. A little bit noisy as you can hear because of the docks, but I still slept for about five hours. It wasn't cold at all. It's full tide again, so we totally cut off. So we've got to wait now until we can. Uh, I reckon it's going to be at least three hours before we can leave the abandoned fort. We are stranded. But look at this glorious day. How often is it like this when you go, we go out camping? So we can't leave for a while, look at that. So I thought, as it's, oh, as it's pancake day, I'm going to make pancakes. Funnily enough, using this Sainsbury's pancake mix. Just add water, shake it to the fill line. You see pancake one, pancake two and so forth. So six pancakes in there. Let's have pancakes. Got a bit of golden syrup and a bit of fruit to go on top. What could go wrong? Cold night, it was like probably around zero. Definitely, you know, one or two degrees. The chill factor from the wind. Very, very cold. Let's try it. Let's try a pancake mix. Hot enough yet. It's always good to do a little tester with the pancakes. I think let's go for it now. The first one's never the best, is it? Pancake. That's it. 
So I've got cranberries. So I put these cranberries on. Very sweet actually. But will it come out? That's the question. But it's like so cold. Just a little bit of that. There you go. Pancake in pieces. The day tripper plate. Cranberries and golden syrup. Happy Pancake Day, everybody. So the tide's going out now. It's clear now, so quick. So we survived the 24 hours on the abandoned sea fort with these two, what can I say, um, <laughs> very brave men. Yeah. And yeah. without them, there's no way I would have stayed on that fort for a stealth camp. So thank you so much for coming no and putting Richard. up with me for 24 hours. Welcome anytime. We could probably have made 22, 25 hours. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Overboard. There's literally no escape, but now we're free to go our separate yeah. ways. <laughs> Until next time, so Until the next time. we look forward to seeing you then. So bye for now. See you later, See you later folks.